Hi everyone! If you have Uber, Lyft or taxi business idea, this video is for you. Today, we will introduce financial model that will help you to evaluate the following parameters of your business idea. How much financing is needed? What is the payback period? Revenues? Profits? Sensitivity analysis? And finally, scenario analysis. The link to download this model will be placed in the description of this video. We can also automize your reporting environment using Excel or Power BI tools. You can also check out other financial models and Power BI tutorials for a business owner. All links you will be able to find in the description of this video. If you find this content valuable, hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. First of all, we will introduce a rule saying that all inputs in our model will be marked with blue color. That will help us identify all the inputs across this model. First of all, we start with setting up the first year of financial projections. In our model, we have five cars. We can name them one by one. We can also switch them on and off from calculations to see cash flow with or without this or that car. Then we can specify when each car will start its operating activity, year and month. We can also set up the type of financing for each car, own funds or the loan. Here we can see the financial efficiency for this selected scenario, payback period, internal rate of return, net present value and other financial metrics. Here on the right we can see simple and discounted payback period diagrams. Next block is control panel. Here we have green if everything is ok. If the car exceeds the mileage that we set up as a daily limit or exceeds the amount of working hours per day, we will show red in these cells. Then we have a block of coefficients for scenario analysis. Here we can quickly increase and decrease revenues, amount of trips, car maintenance, gas expenses and other types of costs. If we want to increase the revenues on 10%, just put 110. Decrease the amount of trips on 20%, put 80 here. That's how it works. 100% is a default coefficient. Here we can switch on and off management company if we have one. Then we are describing management company itself. Payroll, positions, salaries, amount of people on each position. Then moving to fixed costs. Then we are moving to management company investment plan. What we are investing in, how much we are investing in and when we are investing in. Moving to the loan. First of all, we can link the loan to the moment when the management company will start its operating activity. Or we can set up the independent moment when we are planning to get this loan. Moving to loan parameters. Amount of loan, interest rate, term of loan in months, grace period in months, for interest payments and principal payments. If we select an independent loan, here we can set up year and month when we are planning to get it. Next part is about taxes. We are specifying the percentage rate for each tax. Asset tax will be calculated monthly in dollars. Here we can see the cash flow. We can press plus buttons to see all the details. For the revenues, direct costs, fixed costs, payroll and taxes, investment plan and so on. The result from operating activity will show us how much we earn without loan payment and investment plan expenses. The result from investment activity will show us what we need to invest in, how much and when. Then we have the result from financing activity. During the first state of the project, it shows us equity and loan inflow inside our business idea. On the second stage, it shows us the loan payments and how they correspond with the result from operating activity. The last line of the cash flow statement shows us on the first stage how your project consumes equity and loan. On the second stage, it shows us how much cash will be generated by your business idea by this or that moment in the future. Now we can move to the car parameters that will affect the revenues and costs. We have five yellow tabs, each tab for each car. First of all, we need to specify different types of trips. Short, long, airport trip, for example. Then we specify the mileage for each type of trip. Next input is trip duration in minutes. This parameter will help us later formulate realistic revenue numbers. For example, the workday is 8 hours long, but total trip duration will be 10 hours. This will mean that we need to decrease the amount of trips. 
next parameter revenue per trip we can also switch on and off each trip from the cash flow to see the payback period in this particular scenario we also have local and global coefficients for the mileage duration and revenues we can increase or decrease these parameters for each type of trip or for all of them using global coefficient then we have a typical week from monday to saturday for each day we set up the amount of trips, also adding local coefficient, plus the ability to switch on and off trips from the cash flow. We can also add offline time and offline mileage for the car. Same actions for the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Next block of inputs. Here we can quickly switch on and off each day from the cash flow. We can also quickly increase or decrease the amount of trips for each day inside typical week. Here we can set up the daily mileage limit and daily time limit. If we exceed the limits, we will be shown reds here. When we start the business, we won't be able to reach the target revenues right from the first month of operating activity. In this block of inputs, we can specify the percentage value with which we reached the target parameter. Our car won't last forever, one day we will sell it. Here we can set up the mileage and when the car reaches this mileage, we will sell it. New car price, old car price. When we buy a new car, this is the amount of down payment in percentage. Car loan interest rate, term of car loan in months. Moving to parts cost and dealership maintenance, starting with scenario coefficients. Then we have inputs for periodic dealership maintenance mileage and cost of periodic maintenance at the dealership, parts costs. These are the months of operating activity of a car and here we can specify the cost for the parts. During first year this cost will be around zero, but further in the future this expense will start growing. If we have some investment plan expenses for the car, we will specify it here. Then we have fixed costs, typical year. Here we can specify the seasonality of fixed costs associated with this car. Insurance, parking and other costs. Gas costs. Price per gallon and fuel efficiency. Miles per gallon. Next block of input. Commission to the aggregator in percentage value. Payroll for the drivers. We may have several drivers for one car. Here we can set up their salaries. So these consolidated revenues and expenses associated with this car will be flying further to the cash flow statement. The same story for all other yellow tabs for each car. Next step is internal rate of return. Here we are specifying the discount rate in percentage. This is the increment for discount rate iteration. This is the starting point for discount rate. Then we have sensitivity analysis block. We can add this parameter to any input and see financial efficiency if the value of this parameter will increase or decrease with this increment. The link to download this model will be placed in the description of this video. We can also automize your reporting environment using Excel and Power BI tools. You can also check out other financial models and Power BI tutorials for a business owner. All links you will be able to find in the description of this video.
If you find this content valuable, hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. Stay tuned and see you in next videos.